Okay guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use some of the cool features that Inventor has. We're going to open up a standard IPT. Now one of the things that we can do is if we start a sketch, on, let's say on the XY plane, we can come up here to our insert panel and click on image. Now what this does is that any image that we have currently loaded onto our computer, we can bring it in. Now one of the things that's neat is that when you are trying to copy something, instead of having to use your imagination to figure it out, you can basically trace from an image. So if we go to the internet and let's say that we're going to find something um, that we can trace, in this case it's the Wonder Woman logo, we can go ahead and just find something. I'm just going to pick this this one right here. Now this part, it, it comes in at a pretty large size. If I hover over it, you can see the pixels 4,124 by uh, 2472. So this picture is going to be rather large. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this image and go to save image as. Now I'm just going to save it into my pictures folder or my downloads folder and when I go over to inventor I can go up here to image go to my um, pictures folder and I can find that image that I just saved. Now make sure that any image that you download is a PNG a JPEG or a BMP and those are something that you can that you can open up with Inventor. So I'm just going to bring this in and just put it right here. This is a very like this is just what we have that we can play with. Now one of the things that we are uncertain about is the size of this. So if we were to dimension this currently this is three inches wide by one uh, 1.8 inches tall so that's a pretty good size but let's say that all I want to do is just use this this part of the Wonder Woman logo so one of the things that I need to do before I do anything else is give myself a space that I know the the exact dimensions for so I'm going to make a rectangle that is three inches wide by two inches tall. This is a pretty good size that I'm going to start um, that I'm going to start with. Anything that you create, make sure that you scale it to the right size of what you want. Okay. So I'm going to bring my image over here to kind of this location. And I'm just, I, again, I just want to have this part, this um, Wonder Woman logo. I just want that. One of the things I need to, to do before I do anything else is delete this dimension. I left it on. So I'm just going to delete it. And then I'm going to grab or go to Coincident and click on this corner and lock it into this corner of my rectangle. So now that I know that that is not going to move, I'm going to double click on my image and click on the left line and click and drag until I'm about as big as that rectangle. So as you guys see, if I zoom in on it, my Wonder Woman logo is not quite touching this corner, but it is touching this corner um, up here. Okay, so I'm just going to finish my sketch and leave it as so. Now I'm going to create a new sketch and again put it on the XY plane and then I'm just going to start tracing. Now tracing is uh, totally up to you however you feel like doing it. Um, there's a bunch of different ways that are possible. Okay, but this is the way that I'm going to do it. 
Now, the Wonder Woman logo has repeating patterns. So one of the other cool tricks of using Inventor is using this offset button. If you click on offset, what it does is it duplicates and increases in size or decreases in size what you have already created. So I go to offset, I'm going to click here and then move my mouse down to replicate those same lines. So I'm just going to move them to kind of trace where I want it to be put and um, like so. Okay, so now I have that and I can draw in any of my remaining lines that I need to add. And then I can use my trim function to cut off all of these lines. Okay, and right here I have some lines that I don't want to, I don't want to get rid of, but I, I want to extend. So I'm going to go back to trim, I'm sorry, go up here to where it says extend and click on this line and this line, this line, and this line. And then now I can trim away other sections that I want to get rid of. <clears throat> and there you go. All right, one of the other features that Offset does, this is, let's say I go ahead and click on it again. Well, Offset shows everything all at once, but if I just wanted to offset one or two lines rather than the whole shape, I could right click, uncheck mark, loop select, and I can offset that one line, right click continue, and then put it in right here. Same thing over here, right click continue and put it there. And then I'm going to extend and trim all of my extra lines that I don't need. Okay. So as you see, I have this W, this other W, and then these little wings right in the middle. So let's go ahead and extrude. So I'm going to select. I want to send it in the opposite direction so I can still see what I'm selecting. This, this, and this. Okay. And I'm actually going to click on uh, symmetric so you can see what happens. All right. So normally you you guys are used to um, the sketches disappearing after you extrude your objects. Okay, in this case, since my original sketch of all these logos was on sketch one, and we didn't do anything to it, it stays there. But if I right click on sketch one in the, visi in the browser bar and go down to visibility, it will go away. Okay, so you can turn it on or off. Now, let's say that I were to 3D print this. If I were to 3D print this, it would print this Wonder Woman logo in one, two, three, four separate parts. Yes, we've drawn it so that way it goes together, but there's nothing connecting it. So we have to tell Inventor that we want this to be totally completely connected. So I'm going to create a new sketch on my XY plane and here's where projection comes back in. I'm going to um, project my geometry and then offset. Oh, right click and I'm going to select loop select again. And I'm just going to, um, you know, I can offset by a distance. I'm just going to offset by one and then offset this by 0.1 and then this as well by 0.1 and this by 0.1 okay so there's a lot happening but 
we really just wanted the outline to be taken care of. Okay, so once we have that, we can choose all of the so all of the parts that we offset, and instead of going the full distance, I'd say that I go 0.5. Okay, so now it is all all of those four individual pieces are now all stuck together. So that is pretty cool. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next video.